My name is Rosie, but my skate name is Wands. My name is Anka, and my skating name is Scornflake Girl. My derby name is Gem, and my number is 84. Roller derby is a really badass, different sport. First was drawn to as a whole aesthetic and, and, and how people do themselves up and um, that it was something where I felt welcome even though I'm not like the most sporty person. And I've never experienced any team spirit like with the Minksters, they're just incredibly supportive. Before I started roller derby, I kind of didn't really do anything joined roller derby and fell in love with being active. It's just a lot of girls like me that don't really like sport and never really did anything for sport and all those people at school that always forgot their plimsolls for PE and stuff. And it's just a big group of us all loving this certain sport. At school, um, I, you know, I liked netball and then the ball jarred my fingers and I was like, I don't like netball anymore. And then we played hockey and then, like, the ball hit me once and I was like, I don't like hockey anymore. Um, and then roller derby, I watched Whip It and they were hitting each other. And I was like, I want to do that. When you're angry, when you're sad, and you can just basically safely take it out on somebody. Um, yeah, I, I, I do enjoy that um, aggressive part of it. I always joke that Royal Derby makes me a less angry person because effectively you have an outlet. When people say the word aggression, it sounds very negative, but in contact sport, and I'm sure in other individual sports, you need, you need aggression, you need aggression to focus. Aggression is part of this sport. You're gonna do the exact right amount of force to get the exact right result that you want. You're not doing it out of a, a comeback, a revenge hit. You're doing it for the strategy of the game. I think when you're injured in other sports, you're kind of just left especially because I, I did injury rehab at uni and you see people that's mental health just deteriorates while they're off. Whereas in roller derby, there's a lot of other roles that you can do whilst you're not skating. It is such a complicated sport, both from like thinking about what to do with your limbs and, and seeing where you are and communicating with others. You don't have time to think about anything else. And that really helps me because I'm a natural warrior. So if I put my skates on and my pads on and get on track, it's, I get away from everything because I can't focus on anything else then. I know we've had people start and they were uh, afraid to tell us maybe something about themselves, something personal. Um, and then they've, <laughs> they've been there like a few months and they've just thought, oh, they don't care. Like, they're all weird. Um, yeah, it is incredibly inclusive compared to life, I hesitate to say, yes, unfortunately. It's like, it doesn't matter if you're big or small or tall or short, like there is different roles for everyone. I feel less afraid to be myself because I'm surrounded by other women who are really confident in their, in their own selves. A lot of the team struggle with anxiety and depression and things like that but they'll turn up twice a week and socialize and skate so as soon as i go through that practice like doorway i don't think about work and when i was at uni i didn't think about my workload at uni and everybody's there for you and everybody builds you up and if you're going through something there's always somebody that you can talk to we do this really lovely thing called minxter's loving so every year we write something about every single person, if we can, on the team. Something we respect about them, you know, something that we love about them, something that makes us laugh. And then you get it, you get it in a lovely card and it's like a lovely little list of ego. But in that, you know, you read things that you never even thought that you were good at. Or things that you might even think were negatives about your 
personality or you, the way you skated. So it's really, it is really nice and it does make you think, oh, you know what, I am, I'm something to someone, yeah. One of the main things they teach you when you first start is not to compare yourself to fellow skaters because everybody starts from a different level, everybody progresses at a different rate. Just compare yourself to where you were last time. And that, that change in thinking is something which I started applying everywhere else too and it just frees you. I think it's made me a lot stronger like mentally and physically, and it's made me um, a lot happier within my own skin. I don't get anxious so much anymore, because I think I'd just go and do it. And yeah, and I don't think I would be like that if it wasn't for roller derby. I think because of my role as captain, it's forced me to develop much quicker and to consider, because I have to see everyone and everything and think about the harmony of the team and how we grow. It's made me understand people much more, how different we all are and how that isn't, that isn't a bad thing. We are a family. We're in a really good place, which changes because group dynamics change all the time and there's ups and downs. But the Minxters at the moment are this, and have been for a while, this amazing kind of supportive group that fight for each other. Of course not everything is always perfect, but I think the Minxers are doing a, having a really good stab at it. Roller Derby to me changed my life, absolutely changed my life. It was the best decision I ever made. Um, it, to me it means fun, that it's challenging in a good way, that it's family. Yeah, Roller Derby and the Minxers is not only, it isn't just a sport to me now, it is part of my identity. Put me in, I will bleed purple and green. Where the team is going is going to be really, really exciting. So yeah, just watch this space. <laughs>